Howdy and welcome to the 10 Week Bible Study. This is week 7, day 1 of our study of Nehemiah. I'm your host, Darren Hibbs, and today we're talking about Nehemiah 10, 1 through 27. Welcome back to the 10 Week Bible Study. Again, I'm your host, Darren Hibbs. Would you join me as we pray before we start today? Lord, would you open our eyes and our ears to hear what your word has to say to us, God? Speak to us. Fill our hearts with the knowledge of you today. We want to know you more through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With that, let's jump back into God's word. We'll be reading today from the NIV. This is Nehemiah 10, starting in verse 1. Those who sealed it were Nehemiah the governor, the son of Hakaliah, Zedekiah, Sariah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Pashur, Amariah, and, and that's more than likely not the Jeremiah from the book of Jeremiah. I mean, he'd been long dead by now. <clears throat> Verse 3, Pashur, Amariah, Malkijah, Hattush, Shebaniah, Malak, Harim, Merimoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Ginnathon, Barak, Meshillam, Abijah, Mijamin, Meziah, Bilgai, and Shemaiah. These were the priests. Verse 9, the Levites. Jeshua, son of Azaniah, Binuai, the sons of Hanadad, Kadmiel, and their associates, Shemaniah, Hodiah, Kalida, Peliah, Hanan, Micah, Rehob, Hashabiah, Zachar, Sherebiah, Shebaniah, Hodiah, Bani, and Baninu. Now, <clears throat> I hope you're really enjoying me reading all these names because reading them in rapid succession is actually quite difficult for me. Verse 14, the leaders of the people, Perosh, Pehath, Moab, Elam, Zatu, Bani, Buni, Asgad, Bibai, Adonijah, Bigvi, Aden, Ader, Hezekiah, Azur, Hodiah, Hashem, Bezai, Herif, Anathoth, Nebai, Magpiash, Meshulam, Hezir, Meshazabel, Zadok, Jadua, Pelatiah, Hanan, Aniah, Hoshea, Hananiah, Hashab, Halohesh, Pilha, Shobek, Rehom, Hashabna, Messiah, Ahia, Hanan, Anan, Malak, Haram, and Bana. So I just read all of those. And if you're listening to this in the car, you're probably chuckling to yourself a little bit as you're listening to me read all of these things. But I read all of these things word for word because I think it's important. And I've said this before and I want to reiterate it here. I, I don't think that I can say this enough because we live in a day where the reason why I just read all of those things, we live in a day that's that we're taught almost everything the contrary of what I'm about to say. We live in a time period where everything that we're taught is to figure out how does this apply to me? How does this make my life better? How does this, you know, help me throughout my day? If you turn me off right now and turn onto a Christian radio station, <clears throat> the most common phrase you're going to hear across Christian radio stations is, you know, uplifting, you know, music for your day or, or strength to get through the day. Things like that. Things like, man, it is so hard putting in the nine to five grind. And I'm not saying that it's not hard. It's, it's a difficult thing, but it's like so hard that you just need this little verse. You just need this little encouragement to help you. And we're here for you. You're, we're going to make your life easier and better. And so we focus on how does this help me? You know, if you're watching this right now, and you can be watching this, by the way, on YouTube, the name of the platform this is primarily on is YouTube. Everything is focused on us, on me. How does this help me? Or should I say, if I were to, to preach it like most things are most often preached, how does this help you? How does this make your life better? And it's difficult to find application in something like this. But as we just read in our passage uh, you know, last week, at the end of chapter 9, all of the people, they're gathering together and they are making this solemn oath that they are going to follow the law. 
And these people that we just read, these are the signers. These are the people that sign this. What we're looking at is it's as if, you know, if you're in the United States, we're looking at the Declaration of Independence. We're looking at this the all at the bottom where all the people signed. And we look at those signatures. These are those signatures. The Lord wanted these people's signatures recorded for all eternity. Let that sink in. These people's names, they're written in the Lamb's Book of Life, or they're written in Scripture, I should say, forever as the people that stood up and said, I will sign on to this. I will put my name to what is being agreed to here. And the Lord said, I want to immortalize this and memorialize this forever. Again, I've talked about this and we keep coming back to it because we keep finding these, these lists of people and names that are difficult for me to pronounce, but they're important because they were important to God. So I'm not just concerned with how this stuff applies to me. I don't think that's wrong. Looking for application in scripture is powerful. It's helpful. It's not wrong to do that. But it is wrong if that's the only thing that we do. We need to ask God, why is this important to you? What is it that was on your heart when you wrote these names down? And when Jesus says, not one jot or tittle is going to pass away. What was it about these people's names that you want me to know? Why was it important to you? Because if it's important to God, I want it to be important to me. And I think these names are incredibly important to God. I hope to meet Banny and Michelum and Magpiash someday in eternity. And ask them, what was it like when you signed that document? What was it like when you put your name to this? I want to know. Because it was important to God for me to know these names. For the 10-week Bible study, I'm your host, Darren Hibbs, and I can't wait to see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching the 10-week Bible study. If you've enjoyed this, would you consider doing that whole like and subscribe and bell thing you're always hearing people talk about? It really helps other people find out about the show, and my heart is for people to fall in love with God's Word. Thank you. Thank you.